Hello my friends, welcome to the Bavarian Outback. This is my little channel where I do some crafts and some Bavarian traditional things and I talk a little bit about stuff I find in the barn, like this little spade. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's a military spade, some say it's an Swiss army spade, but I'm not sure because this little spade is lying around since I can remember, since I was a little boy, this spade is in our barn. Yes, it looks really old, so it must be Second World War or something and this brings me to the idea that we do some World War II field cooking with the spade, like our grandfather made it. Yes, that's the plan of this video. So we take a great piece of steak and make us a spade steak. Have fun with this video. We had a really heavy storm last night, so there are so many branches broke off the trees and they are really, really dry. So I think we use them for our little fire. Let's start with the campfire. When you find branches like this, I think it's called poplar in English, with a bark which is this dry, then you can use it for making a fire. Lots of you use birch, but I prefer using poplar because this is such a combusting material that that's my favorite, favorite thing to start a campfire. First you need a little bit magnesium, you put it in and then you give it a little spark and then the whole thing is bursting into flames like a little powder explosion that I don't poison myself with my spade experiment I just put it into the fire and burn it off because it's coated with some oil paint whatever so I put it into the fire and when it's hot then we cover it with a um, cooking oil like you would season a steel pan. I have to be a little bit careful because I don't know what material are the other metal things are. The, the blade is out of steel or maybe the round thing is made out of aluminum so I don't want to melt it or want to destroy it. So as you can see the old surface is transforming into charcoal and let's do a few more minutes and I think then we can start preparing it for a cooking surface. Let's put it back in and take care of the wooden handle, but I think it should last because it lasted since the Second World War. Let's feed the fire with a little bit more wood and uh, take care of the wrench um, pan holder because it's really hot by now. The spade blade is getting better and better. As you see, all the dirt falls off and it's almost ready, I think. Now I go look for a steel brush and then I put off all the rest of the surface. Here at the rim you have to be careful that it's not lying on the hot metal with the, the wooden handle so that you put it on the steel rim from the spade blade. Auch wenn das Ding da vorne richtig heiß ist, das ist schon mal gar nicht schlecht für so eine improvisierte Pfanne. Sollte es genug vor sich hingelitten haben? Ich denke mal, dass die so weit. Now I think it's ready that we can 
brush it off and then season it with some oil and start with making steaks. To cool it down and that nobody burns his fingers, we put it here into the soil. Now it is cooled down a little bit. Let's check if it's still functioning. Yeah, it's working. Okay, cool. You see how it worked? It still works. As you see, this old World War II military spade is able to survive this hot temperatures. Auch solche Temperaturen beständig. Let's put it back to straight and screw it together again. Now we take the steel brush and clean it off and check what we will find on this old spade blade. Look what appears here, something very interesting. It says US something 1945. So it's not Swiss, it's something US. That's cool, that's really cool. So it's really an original old piece of history. 1945, cool. So let's go back to the campfire and start with the seasoning of this US 1945. We take a little bit of oil and work it into the surface. I think you know how to season a steel pan, so it's absolutely the same procedure. Cover both sides with oil and put it very well into the surface. And then after this we put it over the fire so it's burning into the surface and getting a really good finish. Wobei ein bisschen Kohle hat noch keinem geschadet. Vielleicht keine Eibe hernehmen. Das wäre vielleicht nicht ganz so schlau. So we wait a few minutes and when the spade is turning black, then you are finished with the first round. You repeat it about three times. Then you have a really hard and really good coating like a steel pan and then you can start cooking with it. So. I only show you one round because I don't want you to get bored and when we are finished then we go to the cooking thing. So now we are ready with the three rounds and we put it here and preheat it a little bit and when it's hot enough then we start with the steaks. A little bit more oil. You can see it's running all over the place. And then put your steak on it. Yeah, and that's the best sound you can have. Oh, I love it when it's sounding like this. This will get a really cool steak. So, 
Looks like the spade coating works perfect. Schaut doch schön aus, oder? Dann lassen wir es mal ein bisschen vor sich hin köcheln. Let's put all the rest of the coal under the spade so that we have a perfect heat to make our steak a good one. Der jetzt dann normalerweise durch den Grill geht da durchgehen würde, der bleibt da jetzt richtig schön unterm Spaten drunter. So. Oh, there's a lot of heat left. Let's turn it carefully over. Oh, that's almost ASMR for real men. What a great spade steak, like our grandpa's made in the World War II. Now it's time for a beer and then we prepare our dinner. A little bit Bavarian steak sauce and a little bit Bavarian bread. Okay, it's well done and it smells good, not like plastic or coating. And Gordon, like we say in Bavaria. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video and the little bit Bavarian field cooking from World War II. Give me thumbs up, that would be so nice. And subscribe to my channel. And I hope I see you next time.